You ready? What does it mean to find your mojo? Is it finding peace? Or confidence? Or happiness? Is it finding our sweet spot in life? Our purpose in life? Or is it simply just accepting ourselves for who we are? You know, unconditionally. And finding that inner self-worth. However we define it, today we seem to have lost our mojo and we're looking for it in all the wrong places. Maybe the reason is we just don't know ourselves enough. And the bits we do know, we don't love ourselves enough. First and foremost, you, you can't do anything that you want to do or get there without actually truly knowing who you are. We all do it. We all think, what do we want in life? And we actually don't ask ourselves who we are as people. And instead of just accepting who we are, we're comparing and judging. And rather than going internal, we're getting distracted in the external, in materialism, or these imaginary unrealistic expectations, or just things we can't control, or caring what others think of us instead of what we think about ourselves. And when this happens, we get stuck, distracted, lost. So how do we find our mojo? Well, focus on the human being first and the human doing second and make sense of our story. That is truly the best decision anyone can make in their life. To, to put myself out there and to lean in was remarkable. It, it changed the way that I live, it changed the way that I saw the world and, and changed the way that I saw myself. We've got everything we need inside us, but when I learned that you know, you go within, that's where all the, all the magic is. And once we can answer the question, who am I? Then we can go after the second question. What do I want? What do I want my life purpose to be? What are my goals and dreams and motivations and needs? The most important thing anybody can do is find a purpose in life. And you would be shocked when you talk about your life story, your shame stories, positive things in your life, everything, when you lay it all out, Right, you think before that, you think your purpose is this? Winning titles, gold medals, money, fame, whatever, and you actually realise what your real purpose is, they are this far apart. Obviously it's good to achieve things, but I think if you achieve something without the fulfilment, that's when you can feel, feel a bit lost or a bit empty. No matter what your career is, no matter what you do in life, I think you need to have that feeling of fulfillment. It allows us to contribute in a way that through giving and through loving and all that sort of stuff, we are actually in return gaining so much more for ourselves than we realise. The thing for me around purpose is that you get away from thinking about yourself to thinking about others. And once you've figured all that out, the final goal is to practise how you show up in the world, accepting all the things you can't control and focusing only on the things you can and the best version of you. That's the only expectation any of us can have for the rest of our lives.